Today is National Suicide Prevention Day, and several local mental health organizations gathered at Healing Steps Labyrinth to provide resources to the community. And a candlelight walk was done in remembrance to those lost to suicide. Luminous Counseling was there, and they hope to help those who are struggling. We are here to bring awareness to the problems that people face in life um, that could lead to possible suicide and be a resource that they can come to to try to get the help that they need. And several people wrote names of those they lost on candles and shared their stories of grief. They encourage anyone who is struggling with their mental health to reach out to loved ones and connect with local mental health resources. And one of the organizations included in the Remembrance Walk today, Crisis Services of North Alabama, shared they have several resources available for those struggling, including a 24-7 crisis hotline. You open the door for them to talk about it. You're not going to put the idea into their head. If you're worried that they are suicidal, they've probably contemplated it and they're looking for someone to talk to. Addie Wagner with Crisis Services of North Alabama says communication can help save lives. Their organization has a 24-hour helpline with crisis counselors who can help those struggling and they are all trained to de-escalate situations and just sit with the person with an empathetic ear and look for the warning signs that someone may be experiencing severe suicidal ideation and then triaging them to get them to the proper avenues that they might need to take. These counselors can also guide people who aren't sure what to do for a loved one who is struggling. And Wagner shares some possible warning signs that someone may be contemplating suicide. You might see someone who's been severely depressed or withdrawn and isolated suddenly become really happy and, and seem like they've found clarity. They might give away their possessions to their loved ones. Uh, again, they might abuse or misuse alcohol or substances more. That might be a little bit more aggressive. She emphasizes the importance of normalizing the discussion of suicide. You're not alone. And, you know, 99% of the population experiences some mental disturbance in their lifetime. That's almost all of us. And it could be grief from a loss or anxiety or depression or a severe mental illness. It affects all of us. If you or someone you love is experiencing thoughts of suicide, Crisis Services recommends calling their 24-7 hotline at 256-716-1000, or you can call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988.